So y'all have heard me talk about kidney disease and even dialysis, but what's the best way to prevent kidney disease from happening in the first place? That's what I'm here today for, to give out the four easy ways to protect your kidneys. What's up, San Antonio and world? I'm Dr. Kasim Butt, and I'm a kidney doctor, and I'm here to break down health in a simple way. Now do me a favor, hit up that like and share button. It'll really help me out. So what are the best ways to protect the kidneys? Well, let me give you some easy ones to start out with. Drink plenty of water. One of the most common causes of kidney injury is actually dehydration. Quite honestly, most of us don't stay well hydrated much at all. So I need y'all to do me a favor and put down those sodas and those sugary laden juices and drink more water. Well, how much water to drink? Well, y'all have heard of eight, eight ounce glasses of water a day, but different people with different body types and different health conditions all require different amounts of water. The easiest way to tell how hydrated you are is look at your urine. If your urine is a light or clear, that means you're pretty much well hydrated. Now, if your urine is yellow or dark yellow, that may mean, may mean you're dehydrated and you need to drink more water. Eat more of a plant-based diet. So wait, wait, I'm not telling y'all to go full vegan or vegetarian, but evidence is mounting that a plant-based diet is actually helpful for the kidneys. You see, we as Americans likely eat too much meat and animal protein is acid producing. And that acid can actually damage the cells of your kidneys, um, the, <clears throat> those microscopic filters in your kidneys that help clean your blood and make urine. Now, for more information about plant-based diets, y'all gotta check out my video on it. Limit over-the-counter NSAIDs. So what's an NSAID? It's a type of pain medication, typically over-the-counter, that actually stands for non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs. This includes drugs with the generic names of naproxen, ibuprofen, and aspirin. Taking these drugs every once in a while is fine. The problem occurs when you take them daily, multiple times a day, at high doses for long periods of time, which can lead to kidney injury. Again, it's okay to use them, but use them sparingly. Exercise. So how does exercise help the kidneys? Well, I want y'all to think of the kidneys like the canaries in the coal mine. They are affected by the overall health of the body that they're actually in. And the two biggest causes of kidney disease are actually diabetes and high blood pressure. So what exercise does is it causes you to lose weight, increase insulin sensitivity, decrease your blood sugar, and decrease your blood pressure. All in all, that helps your kidneys. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it. And if you got something to say, leave comments in the comment section below. And remember, it's your kidneys, your health.